Hello, sports fans and Pirates fans. We're back with Out of the Park Baseball and Out of the Park fans, too. We're here with Out of the Park Baseball, the 1980 Pirates career season, and we are in 1981. And we are headed to the end of 1981. Um, and we're playing San Francisco today. But before we do that, I want to just refresh everybody's memory. Well, not really memory because uh, we played games. I've quit played games while we were away. So let's take a look at the standings. And you can see, uh, let me put myself up here for right now. Uh, you can see we are in second to last. Only um, like a half a game above the Mets. We're 49 and 69. And uh, we are quite a few games behind the Cubs. It's like you got Montreal, Philadelphia, St. Louis, and the Cubs all kind of bunched together, if you want to say that. And then you got us and the Mets way out in left field looking in. So, uh, and the trade deadline is quickly approaching. We are not in a position to come anywhere close to trying to compete for the division. So if we do any trades, and my general manager is not afraid to do trades, we, uh, I would think, would be dealing uh, players away for prospects. But we'll see what happens with that. I did want to point out um, one humorous uh, news story, though. Um, Go back to manager's office, and uh, here we go. Bill Garner, who we, who my general manager traded to the Padres, has announced that after the season, when he becomes a free agent, he is going to join the U.S. Army at the age of 32, which is, uh, it's rare. I'm just going to say it's rare. Um And then uh, let's see if we've got any other kinds of uh, interesting things here to look at. Not really. So anyway, I just wanted to point that news story out. I thought it was kind of interesting. So the Padres, we traded Garner. So I don't know what we got for him. But whatever it was, was apparently good because the Padres are only going to have him for one season. And then he's going to join the Army. So uh, let's, with that, let's go to the game. Let's play the game against the Giants. Well, we got to gotta turn down the sound. There we go. And I'm going to have to update our starting lineup. Um, we are missing, what are we missing? Well, we got a lot of guys that are getting tired or gassed or whatever. So, uh, like almost everybody needs to be, have some replacing done. We'll put Kasek in for, uh, um, Collins and give him a day off. We will put Mumphrey in for Willie Wilson and give him a day off. I mean, we're not going to win anything. So why not, right? Um, let's see. We have left. We have center. We don't have right field. So Lee Lacey could theoretically play. We'll put him in. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. All right, so we now we seem to have a full complement of players. Um, I'm even going to put in Doe Boylan, give him some playing time for Phelps. We'll move Lacey up in the lineup. We'll move Kasich up. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not going to be conducive to winning, but... Um, We'll see, because sometimes you do that, and then, you know, your guys play out of their minds. 
And we have Rick Wise on the mound, and he is already, it looks like he's already tired. So why don't we just put in Glenn Abbott to pitch? Well, no, it looks like he might be tired. What about uh, LaRoche? Okay, LaRoche is cold, but who cares? And so now let's go to the game. So, yeah, we're taking on San Francisco, and let's do the opening pitch here. We are in Three River Stadium at home against the Giants. And LaRoche with the pitch, and that was a bullet drive fastball, but he ended up walking him. And up steps Joe Patini. I do remember Joe Patini. He was an actual player, and uh, he flew out to right field, and that brings up Jack Clark. And who doesn't remember Jack Clark? And Jack Clark just ripped a hit. And he's going to be out. He's going to try to take an extra base. What a crazy man. All right, well, uh, so now there is uh, two down with a man at second. Clark going to second on the throw out, and that's going to score Clark on that. So they do end up getting a run. They lead 1-0, and Larry Herndon is at the plate. And he hits a, gets a base hit. My God. LaRoche is terrible. All right, well, what are you going to do? He's going to have to eat some innings, too. We're going to have to have him out there eating innings today. He's going to have to suck one up for the team. I mean, it's, what is it, 3 nothing. 3 nothing. I mean, LaRoche has nothing. And he's safe, so the... There's runners are at the corners with Guy Sular's up. And uh, shortstop makes the play, and we're out of the inning. Foley makes the play. So we're down by three with uh, and facing Alan Ripley with Jerry Mumphrey as our leadoff. Man, giving some people a rest. And he gets a base hit. All right, all right. Nice. Uh, here comes Larry Milborn. He's competent, you would think, but not really. So they get the lead runner, fielder's choice, and we have a man at first with Richie Hebner up. And Hebner is going to be out. And that is it for us. Quickly as it started. So uh, Alan Ripley is back out on the mound. Or up at the plate, batting against uh, LaRoche. That time LaRoche gets a pop-up. Pop-up! You can see LaRoche is already half halfway gassed, so this is not going to go well. Let me just tell you that this is not going to go well. But I am going to leave him out there every available second that I can. Uh, Alan Ripley on the mound facing Lacey. We're only down three nothing. Still got the time to make up the three runs, but with all the circum all the uh, flowing circumstances that we have, you would think we're not going to be able to do that. But let's see. Stranger things have happened. Doe Boyland up with a man at first, and Doe Boyland rips it right back up the middle. Are holding so there's two on and only one out and Tim Foley up Tim Foley not having a good year at least last I checked and hitting into a double play right there so still not having a good year. we go to the top of the third LaRoche dealing uh, and that's going to be a base hit to center Kasich can't get to it Mike Rex is up and Mike Rex is going to try to bunt. 
And why did we walk a guy who's trying to bunt and give us an out? Good question. So there is a fly out. There's one down. Runners are at first and second, and we're pitching against Randy Gomez, the catcher. I would have thought he wasn't that dangerous, but apparently he is. And that's going to be another run for the Giants. It's 4-0. And there's a strikeout. See, LaRoche is almost gassed now. And Sulars is up. But Foley makes the play and gets him out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Rick Dempsey up. Rick Dempsey is popping out. There's one down here in the bottom of the third. That's going to be another out, quick out, and Mumphrey up at the plate. Mumphrey. Mumphrey flies out deep to center, and we are down 4 nothing. And we have LaRoche hoping that LaRoche can get us out of the fourth without embarrassing us. There's an out. Bill North is up. Bill North find ball player that he was base hit right up the middle and I knew he was gonna go I knew it I was gonna I was saying you know what that's gonna be a ground out to Foley so he gets us gets us the second out and here comes Jack Clark and Jack Clark is going to hit a get a base hit. So it is five nothing, and that's going to be a ground out to Foley. So Laroche allows another run. It's five nothing, and we are going to the fourth inning. Top of the fourth, or no, bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, Richie Hebner up. Richie Hebner going to fly out, two down quickly for us in the fourth, and Lee Lacey is up. And he's going to ground out, and we're going to the fifth. I'm going to try to get LaRoche through the fifth. I mean, the problem is, the, the general manager, I think, sent so many people down and uh, I guess wasn't replaced with fresh pitchers. Stops him at uh, second, so there's two on with no outs. Again, another guy trying to bunt, so let's just let him bunt. Uh, well, all right. Was he out? No. Only one out. So runners are at second and third with one down and Solars up. And Solars is going to fly out, which is, or pop out to third base, which is good. And uh, Ripley, Alan Ripley's up, the pitcher. I think that's the pitcher. So he grounds out and we get out of the inning without allowing any more runs, which is good because that will probably get LaRoche another inning, which he needs to give me. Craig Kasich is up, looking for that playing time and loving it, and he's out. And Doe Boyland is up. He's loving his playing time right here. Did he, is he safe? No, he's out. And that brings up Tim Foley. Tim Foley is going to grab his – no, he gets the ball over the head of the center fielder and has a double. And Foley really needed that. So we've got Rick Dempsey at the plate. And they don't decide to walk him. And that might be another run. That, or, or our first run. So it's 5-1. to one, And um, LaRoche is up. I'm going to let him hit. Because I am going to get every ounce 
of everything I can get out of him because we got a gassed pitching staff, which my general manager did not see fit to remedy that situation. So there's a base hit, and we have Patini up, and he bunts, and he, that's an out. I love it. Anytime you're giving yourself up when I've got a gassed pitcher, I'll take it. And we are in the top of the sixth, and I do need him. I mean, as long as he's not embarrassing us, I'm going to let him keep pitching because I don't care how tired he is for the next game. Runner at second, two down, and Mike Rex up. And he throws him out. So he didn't give up any more runs. And we're, and he's still out there. Mumph, of course, he's got a four-run lead, so it's easy to still have him out there. But Mumphrey rips a base hit to start the inning. And Milborn is up. Milborn is going gonna, is gonna to ground into a fielder's choice. Runner at first, one out. Richie Hebner up. Richie Hebner is going to uh, ground back to the mound into a fielder's choice, and that brings up Lee Lacey. Lee Lacey's going to pop out to third. We are going to the top of the seventh. We got a gassed LaRoche out there. His arm has fallen off, but he's giving it the old college try, and that's going to be a base hit that falls in. Randy Gomez up. The, the, the thing is, the thing that's helping him is that these Giants hitters are uh, not good. They don't have a good lineup. So Tom Runnels. So that's helping him. And it's helping me. And then Sulars. And it's still 5-1. I mean, he's out there, he's running on fumes, his arm is hurting, he's putting it in an ice bucket between innings, but we're still only down 5-1 with Craig Kasich up. And Kasich is going to hit a, get a base hit. And that brings up Doe Boy. Doe Boyland is going to fly out to center. Deep to center. That brings up Tim Foley. Mr. Foley. Mr. Foley is going to be out. And I am going to force... This is really... Um, oh, wait. Rick Dempsey's up. Okay, we're not out yet. I thought, we, I thought that was the last out. Um, this is a really unrealistic situation, but I am going to force LaRoche to give us another inning. Even though he's going to need to go to the hospital after this inning is over. Bill North at the plate. And that's going to be a double down the line. I don't think we're going to be so lucky as to avoid a run this time. And Patini is up. Of course, you know, I probably briefed, you would think I would have briefed uh, LaRoche before this game that, hey, I know you're going to be out there and you're going to be on fumes and uh, we're going to need you to keep pitching through the problems. Seven to one, runners at first and second, no outs yet. And he walks the next guy. See, now, now even with the bad... Uh, San Francisco batting order. They're still getting, they're getting to him because now he's got nothing. And that's going to be a walk. So it's nine to one. And he steps on the bag and did he get the other uh, double play? No. So there's only one out. Runners at second and third, one down. And nobody, is they're not going to get anybody. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, they did. Okay, they got the guy at first. So 
Second and third with two down. And the pitcher is up, and he is going to be out. And LaRoche, even though we're losing 10 to 1, he did his job. And he is up, and I am going to pinch hit for him. He's done a good job. Let's get him out of there. Let's get another guy warming up. We're going to warm up Adrian Devine. And we're going to pinch hit um, for LaRoche with uh, Gary Weiss. I got to imagine that's a guy that doesn't play very much. So we are going back to the game action, and Gary Weiss is at the plate, loving his chance to play. He's out. Jerry Mumphrey is up, and he walks. Larry Milbourne. Larry Milborn is going to bounce into a potential double play, and it is. So we're out of the inning. And, yeah, we're going to bring in Adrian Devine. Pitch the last inning. And then, really, the only guy that I gassed this game is um, LaRoche, and he bought us some much-needed innings and rest for our pitching staff. And that's going to be a fly out. So there's two down. And up steps Jack Clark. Jack Clark rips it down the line on Adrian Devine. Facing Rex. And he makes the play. And now we are up. For the bottom of the ninth, we need nine runs, which we are not going to get. Richie Hebner up at the plate. And that, what is that? That's an out? Yeah. Lee Lacey up. One down. That's going to be a base hit. And now Al Holland is out to pitch for the Giants. Al Home Run Holland. And I call him that because on one of his strat cards, he had like two automatic home runs and another partial. So we, we nicknamed him Home Run Holland. There's two down, though, and Home Run Holland didn't give up a home run, and Doe Boyland is up. And there is a balk. Now Do Doe Boyland is up, and he is going to be out, and that should mercifully be the end of the game. And uh, we'll take a look at the stats. 10-1 to 1 was your final. Um, Mumphrey made the most of his playing time, 2 for 3. Kasich was 2 for 4. Foley was 1 for 3 with a run scored, and that... Ups his average to 203, which is great for him because earlier on, I don't know if you saw any of the earlier games that I put up, but he was hitting terrible. He was in the 100s. LaRoche pitches eight innings, allows 16 hits, 10 earned runs, walks six, and only strikes out one. And uh, that raises his average, his ERA to 609, but he was key in resting our bullpen. So uh, with that, we're going to leave the game. And we are going to take a look at, uh, go to the manager's office. We are 49 and 70. Still a half a game, it looks like, in front of the Mets. And uh, so that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke signing off.